Hello there, this is as always Marcin and in today's basic tutorial I'm going to show you how to add sky full of stars to your sunset image to make it look absolutely amazing. Before we start, if you are a person interested in professional retouching, visit my portfolio, visit also my website with the courses retouchingninja.com, you can start with a free course and all of the links are of course in the description. Back to our project, first of all, I'm going to remove this effect I have created here. And this is the image I started with. I took it in Cape Town, probably the place with the best sunsets. And of course, to create this, we need some other image full of stars. Easy to find. Uh, you can find a lot of stock images on pexels.com. So the one I'm using is from Free Nature Stock. You can find exactly the same one, you can find similar ones, and you can open different authors to find the right image for your project. So once you get the right image, first thing we need to do, we need to match the size of both pictures. So first of all, I'm checking size of this one. And as I can see, the width is 6,240. So I'm going to make sure this other image I have here will be quite the same. So it needs to be a little bit bigger. I'm going to extend this. I'm doing this because it's just easier to work this way. We don't want to have image that is too small because then when we match to our project, the stars might appear too big. So it's good to keep these things in mind. Then I'm going to use this move tool and drag it to my project. So the first step is done and this image match perfectly. I have this Milky Way on the bottom. I don't want to use it because it would not really look natural. So it's important for me to make this actually look as natural as possible, even though the effect itself is not really that natural or this scenery doesn't appear naturally that much. So now I have to create the mask. First, I'm going to rename this to the sky and create the mask. Mask will allow me to cut out this bottom area where I don't want these stars to be visible because when we have white mask, the effect or layer is visible. When it's black, it is not visible. I'm going to make some simple selection. Uh, I can even use quick selection tool uh, maybe it will work. Let's have a look. And it does work. So it's pretty good start. It doesn't have to be perfect at this moment. Then I'm going back to this project. I'm going to press Command or Control and I. So I will invert the effect into this layer. And this is exactly what I needed. So it doesn't look perfect yet. As you can see, uh, the sky is a little bit too dark. We can play with the blending modes and there is actually few options how we can do it. We can see what match best for our image. So if we would go with normal blending mode, we can just lower opacity and let the or original image go through. So for example, I would go down to 14. As you can see, it doesn't look so bad. One more thing, it's still not too natural because the stars start just above the, the horizon here. So it doesn't look right. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to choose a brush and with black color of the brush, I'm going to polish this mask a little bit better. So flow 100 is okay. I'm going to paint here. So I'm going to remove the stars from this orange area. So it would look maybe a little bit more natural. It will get brighter because the sky was a little bit darker. So this is why I think maybe the normal blending mode is not the best in this case. It doesn't look uh, too bad either. So now I think I got it quite right. So this would be the effect if we would stick with the normal blending mode. We pretty much change the color of the background, but in many images, normal blending mode could not work. Maybe the color of the background would be different, but this is the one way of doing this. The other way is changing blending modes. 
So let's see what we have here. We have a darkening blending mode that should not make much of a difference. And I think the effect is not really uh, strong enough, especially that this darkening blending modes will make the white, pure white color invisible. We also have brightening blending modes, also not very strong effect, and it also make the background a little bit too bright. So I think for this image, maybe going with these blending modes that increase the contrast would be the best. We have overlay, quite a strong effect, but the background gets maybe too saturated. We have soft light, nice, but the effect not strong enough. Hard light, maybe too strong as well. So we have few options. I'm going to try with overlay, but I'm also going to increase opacity. So I want the sky to be a little bit more vivid. I can try at first with 60%, but as I said before, this background seems to be a little bit too saturated. So I would like to correct this a little bit more. How I can do it, I can choose selection from this mask. I can press command or control, hit on this mask and go to vibrance. And I can adjust the vibrance value and saturation values here. Important to remember about the vibrance that the vibrance will be affecting colder colors, maybe a little bit more. It preserves the oranges quite well. But when it comes to saturation, it does affect not only color, it, it tends to affect some hue values as well. It changes a lot of light values in the yellows, but mixing this both should give us good effect. So I'm going to take down vibrance, maybe 20, maybe even 30. But I'm also going to take down some saturation. I want to cool down some of these oranges that I have. I'm going to work a little bit more on this mask because I still didn't affect the oranges that much. So let's see if we need to maybe desaturate some of these oranges here and have stronger effect. And this would be it. As you can see, the sky before was too saturated. I could correct this or I had the option to try to go with a little bit different blending mode, but I think overlay in this case worked pretty well. And this would be it. So the first step is adjusting the sky and the second step is adjusting the color values, the light values, anything else we need. Of course, we can apply much more things here. So when we want to apply maybe the moon into the night image, we can find the stock footage with the moon and we can apply it and then choose the right blending mode for this. I want to keep it simple. This meant to be basic tutorial. So if you want to apply uh, something special to your image to create some uh, special effect, this is the way you can do it. So thank you for watching. Once again, if you are interested in retouching, I want to invite you to see my portfolio. I also want to invite you to my page with the courses. There is much more things coming there. I will be offering retouching bundles to be able to offer you actually the best possible price. And of course, here on YouTube, tutorials twice a week, basic tutorials, a little bit more complicated tutorials, theory or some practical tasks. So thank you for watching and see you next time.